I'm Jamie and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about things that I want to happen in season three of Ghost. So this isn't really going to be like theories, although I will throw in a couple of theories that I think will happen, but this is just going to be mainly kind of little things I want to happen in season three of Ghosts. As you know, season three is already being filmed, so yeah, it's exciting. So hopefully we haven't got too long to go, uh, but yeah, let's just get into the video. So one thing that I want to happen and something that I think will happen is flashbacks to the ghosts' lives and their deaths. So figuring out more things about what the ghosts lived through, what, you know, what their family life was like, and also what kind of led to their death. And yeah, so we know this is going to happen because um, Jennifer Saunders has been kind of confirmed as playing um, Fanny's mother. So there is definitely going to be a flashback to do with Fanny and her life. I've been trying to figure out whether it's going to be linked to her death because we know how she died. So I don't know whether this is going to be looking at her as a young child or like a teenager, maybe like maybe before her marriage because her marriage is kind of heavily linked to her death and a lot of the things that she talks about. So I wonder maybe it's her mum like convincing her to marry her husband or Certainly that, although we have already had quite a lot of wedding things. I feel like if they were gonna do that, it might have been more appropriate to do it at the wedding that happened at the end of season two. It could be she's going for like advice from her mum. I don't know whether she's gonna be even more strict than, than Fanny is, or even kind of like she's just a bit more chill and then she's raised this very like strict daughter. I don't know, it, it, it could go either way for, for me, I think. So yeah, that is one thing I want to happen. And also, um, ben also shared a picture on Twitter of a book called A Kiss from France. So people are theorising whether this could either be linked to the captain, obviously because Kiss from France got something to do with like World War II, obviously. So it could, it definitely, for me, my first thought was the captain, although people are also theorising it's got something to do with Humphrey's backstory. So yeah, so that's two clues that I think, well not even a clue, I think Jennifer Saunders has been confirmed. So. There's two things that they're definitely linked to there being kind of flashbacks. So yeah, that is something I really, really want to happen because as you know on this channel, I love looking at kind of how the ghosts died and what their lives were like. And I hope we do get more to do with their actual lives because obviously it's interesting to know like how they died, how they became a ghost. But I think it is quite interesting to see what their lives were like before that. So things that I want to happen is I want to look at Kitty's backstory a bit more, not necessarily her death, but her backstory about what her family life was like, you know, actually seeing what it was like, whether it, it's just Kitty exaggerating or whether it was worse than what Kitty says, and also kind of like how she became nobility, like what she was doing at Button House, you know, all that sort of things. It would be interesting to see a bit more about Robin and Mary because they are like the oldest ghosts and yet we know like very little about them. Um, I don't know whether this is on purpose because I don't really know what else cavemen would be getting up to apart from like hunting and, and stuff like that. So, but I feel like there's still stuff that to be explored with Robin and Mary with like what her village was like because one major theory that I think I talked about in one of the videos I did, I can't remember, but the idea that Mary wasn't actually burnt at the stake, she was like accused of being a witch and then they like set her house on fire or something. That's a major theory that is kind of going around to do with Mary, which I think would work really well. So it would be interesting to have a look at maybe what the village was like, because we saw what it was like with the plague people and they were all kind of like very community based. They all kind of got along. So it'd be definitely cool to see what her village life was like, whether it's similar or whether it's like everybody hates each other, everybody's accusing each other of being witches and, and stuff like that. So yeah, flashbacks and stuff to do with their lives that I definitely want to see. Linking to that, I also want to see a bit more about Alison and Mike's backstory, you know, how they met, what their relationship was like, like how quickly they got married because you know, they are quite a young couple, so it's interesting to see such a young couple, like, married and, like, be stable in their relationship. So that's really cool. And I'd also like to see a bit more about Alison, because we've seen Mike's backstory, uh, not Mike's backstory, Mike's family, and we haven't really seen anything to do with Alison's, not even, like, a mention of it. And somebody, I've seen quite a lot of people point out that 
The fact that Alison is like the sole inheritor, inheritor of Button House implies that she doesn't have any other living family, which is really sad and but it makes sense. So hopefully they explore that a bit more because yeah, there's not really been any mention to any family and yeah, like obviously it's gonna be really sad if that is the case, but yeah, it definitely makes sense about why would she be the sole inheritor of the Button like estate? Like, why wouldn't it go to, like, her parents first? I also want to see more interaction between Mike and the ghosts. So this could be kind of indirectly, like, with um, Julian, like, writing on the um, the steamed up mirror, like, in the Bump in the Night episode. Or it could be, some people maybe suggested, maybe he bumps his head and he only really gets this kind of looking at the dead for, like, maybe, like, a day or so or something like that. Both of those things I think would work really well. I just really like to see Mike interacting with the ghosts and um, I watched, um, it was like an Ask the Ghost thing that they did um, during lockdown and they mentioned that um, Kiel, who plays Mike, he's always looking up at the ghost, which is just such a funny addition and I didn't notice that until they said, I was like, oh my God, yes, he does. That's so funny. And I think that's just, yeah, to maybe have him looking up and he's like, and then the ghosts are kind of like, oh, why is he looking up? I feel like it might be interesting to see Mike try out kind of like ghost hunting methods. Like, you know, what we saw with um, when they got all the ghost hunters into the house, like maybe him trying out certain things, like maybe like doing a Ouija board and uh, Julian is moving it so he can talk to him and, and stuff like that. Just wanting to talk to the ghosts or maybe like planning something for Alison's birthday and he wants to kind of like help the ghosts make get, give her something or I, I don't know and he's may, maybe trying to talk to the ghosts about trying to look at what they should you know what he should get them from the ghosts you know I think that'd be quite cool like yeah Mike and the ghosts collaborating to do something nice for Alison yeah I think there's loads of potential there with having Mike talk to the ghosts a bit more um yeah, so let me know what you think about that one because I really like that. I love Mike and yeah, I just think he needs to be a bit more involved with the ghosts a bit more. I also want to find out a bit more about the ghosts' powers. So what we know so far is only really Mary with her smoke smell, Robin with the lights, Julian with the moving and being able to touch things and then Fanny being able to see in pictures and then obviously the play girl can be heard singing. But yeah, so we know those ones and there is a theory that Captain has something to do with mirrors because he's seen in a mirror in like the opening scene and so that would be cool. Although I feel like we would have noticed that by now. Like maybe Mike been able to see him through a mirror. Maybe there's something else to do with the mirror. I don't really know. But again, I don't really think it's a big plot issue if they do introduce the whole mirror thing. So I would be interested to see what kind of power kitty has i don't really know what she could have or thomas or pat uh, yeah i just can't think of good powers for them like what are other ghostly powers because all the other ones are kind of like walking through walls which they all can do maybe one of that one of them can like we know thomas and pat can't be heard on radios we know that because of the whole like the awesome radio uh, scene that's one of my favorite scenes is absolutely brilliant there's not really been any clue that they could be seen on pictures like fanny can so, yeah, I don't know what powers they could have, but I definitely want to see an exploration of that. One thing that I think would be quite funny, but I don't know whether it would actually happen, is either one of the ghosts or maybe, like, a spirit that comes into the house maybe, like, can inhabit Alison or Mike and kind of make them do silly things or something like that. Like, I feel like that could be a very funny kind of plot, plot line. Um, so it'd be really cool to see, let's say Mike is like inhabited by a spirit or one of the other ghosts, like maybe if one of the ghosts gets really angry then they can, they turn into like almost like a poltergeist thing and can then inhabit one of like a, a human, like a, someone alive. So let's say for example one of the ghosts inhabits Mike. This happens at an unfortunate time when there's guests in the house. So Alison has to deal with the ghosts being their usual interfering selves, Mike acting really weird because he's inhabited by a ghost, and then also trying to figure out how to get the poltergeist out of Mike. So that I feel like would be a very funny plot. And I, for some reason, I feel like Kitty should be the one inhabiting it because she's such like an excited person. I feel like if she gets really angry about something, then 
she inhabits somebody. I don't know, maybe another character might be best suited. Let me know what you think, but I feel like that could be just such a funny plot point. And obviously you could do it where a spirit comes into the house, maybe. I don't know whether they have like travelling spirits where they can, they're not like confined to one place. So yeah, I feel like that would be a really, really good plot point. Like I would love an episode like that. So I saw a while back on Twitter, somebody made a thread on kind of like all the, the football teams, the ghosts to support and kind of like giving their reasonings. And it was absolutely, it's brilliant. So I'll link it down below if I can find it. And Jim responded saying like, oh, this is really accurate. And maybe we'll find out who Pat supports in season three. So it's like they're obviously hinting towards there being a football theme. This might be like a very minuscule detail where he just like mentions who he supports kind of thing. Or it could be something, a bigger plot line to do with football. So I was kind of thinking of fun ideas to do kind of like episodes. And one of my ideas was because if you've watched The Office, they do kind of like, they did like the Office Olympics. And I thought that might be quite a funny idea to do with the ghosts. Like maybe they have like their own little sports day or something like that. And they're all like doing like competing with little things. And then this kind of football idea was introduced. So I thought, what if like a a couple of football teams like rent out the land of Button House to like have a little football match or something like that. It might only have to be like a charity football match or something like that. It doesn't have to be like proper teams. So yeah, and I feel like this could kind of be a really lets the characters really kind of take over almost. So what we'd have is we'd have Pat kind of reminiscing about his times playing football with his son. And he we know he loves football because he was watching like every football match like going through all the, the the DVDs or the videotapes of all the football matches and stuff like that. So we know he's a big fan of football. So he'd be there reminiscing about uh, his son, maybe about taking his son to football games or like playing football with his son, supporting him at his son's games, that sort of thing. Fanny would be screaming at them because they're messing up the pitch, but then she will get slowly like overtaken and being like really excited about playing and She'd be like shouting at them and they're like, oh, you go the wrong way and I'll get the ball, that kind of stuff. So I feel like that would work really, really well. Julian would kind of be betting on the team. So he'd start gambling and then Mary would get upset because he's gambling. And <laughs> and yes, yeah, so then that would kind of be a funny plot line. I feel like maybe two of the characters, probably like maybe the captain or Thomas, would kind of chew the team and be rooting for one of the teams. So like they're against each other. And also I feel like the captain might try and take on the role of the referee. And yeah, so it just, all around, I think it'd be a really cool plot. And I feel like it would work with lots of other things. So I think it is a type of plot that will happen. Obviously, I don't think it's gonna be exactly like what I say, but that kind of idea of kind of like a game happening and them all getting involved in it in some way. Also, if it is football, I feel like a really funny idea is maybe like with Julian, if he is kind of, the team he put money on is losing, and then he gets so frustrated that he kicks the ball and he like actually kicks the ball and like maybe it goes in the goal or maybe he just kicks it but and then all the players are like what on earth has just happened and Alison has to try and play it off and be like oh it's probably just the wind and the one that I've literally like just thought of is maybe like a like a fair or a fate kind of happens in like the button house land and you've got like a coconut shy that I think would be a really cool plot line obviously I've just thought of it so I haven't really got many developed ideas on it yet but you can have all those sort of things like the shooting range with the captain is like, you know, when they shoot the ducks. So the captain's like really wanting to have a go at that. And like, maybe he instructs um, Alison again of how to shoot and she wins or something. Yeah, coconut shy, I think, feel like is a good one. Maybe they're hooking the ducks. Yeah, that's, I think, because they're kind of in like a very rural area and like small little fates are quite a big thing that people like to do. Um, so yeah, I feel like that could work really well. <laughs> I feel like it'd be really cool to have either like a psychic who can talk to the ghosts or somebody that's had a similar accent to Alison come to the house. And so obviously they can either see the ghosts or like feel the presence of the ghosts. And so obviously the psychic um, could kind of come in and try and communicate with the ghosts and maybe it goes really well or maybe it goes really bad or maybe they just mess with her kind of thing. Um, also, I feel like if we do have kind of someone coming into the house and they do have a similar accent to Alison so they can see the ghosts, both of them trying to play it off as like, oh, this is normal. And then they soon realise that, oh, wait, you can actually see these too. And then they kind of bond over that. Maybe Kitty gets jealous because 
they're talking loads instead of like talking to the ghosts or maybe um, we have the kind of person who comes into the house be related to one of the ghosts in some way and this is her trying to kind of like find a long lost like a relative that died ages ago. I've, I feel like that would work really well especially because it'd be nice to care for like Alison have somebody that is not that like knows that she's not crazy like I don't think Mike thinks she's crazy I think Mike knows fully what's going on but still it'd be cool to see you know them confirm to Mike that oh no no yeah th- these ghosts are real I'm not just making it up even though like I said I don't think he does think he's make- she's making it up. It would also be awesome to see kind of Havers come back and maybe we see their relationship develop a bit more with the captain maybe like before he leaves kind of like how they met or maybe I don't know because I don't by the kind of the way the captain was reminiscing about that about Havers and the kind of you know with that episode it doesn't seem like to me that Havers comes back after leaving I don't think they meet again personally I want them to but personally I feel like the way the episode was done it was kind of like a, the last goodbye. He's reminiscing about the last time that he saw Havers. So it'd be cool to see maybe them before he leaves, maybe like when they first meet, you know, maybe this is like the captain first realising that maybe he has feelings for him, that kind of thing. Or maybe we see kind of Alison trying to connect the ghosts, like the ghost of Havers, wherever he is. People think in Africa, he died in Africa but I feel like maybe he doesn't necessarily have to die there he might have come back and the captain's already dead although we probably would have seen that as well but maybe he comes back and he finds out the captain's dead and then so he kind of leaves and goes somewhere else dies maybe somewhere not so far away and then he Alison can kind of connect the two again although they can't really leave where they are like I feel like it is quite a complicated plot to do but I definitely want to see more development in that sort of sense like of Captain and Havers and their feelings for each other or like possible feelings for each other hopefully they both feel the same way (laughs) I'd be gutted if it's not reciprocated so that is the end of the video I really hope you enjoyed obviously this is only a few ideas like Ghosts has so much potential, so this is just kind of like scraping the surface. Like, there is so much they can do with ghosts, so whatever they do, I'm sure it's going to be incredible, and I'm sure they're going to come up with ideas that, like, we haven't even begun to think of, like, in terms of kind of theories of how the ghosts died and what their lives were like and stuff like that. So I'm so excited to see more from ghosts like oh it's been too long I really need more episodes of it soon so if you liked this video please give it a like and comment down below what you thought about the theories I came up with or the ideas I came up with whether you think they would work and also if you have any like theories or ideas of what may happen in season three then put them in the comments down below and if you want to see more videos to do with ghosts and other shows then please give me a subscribe it would be much appreciated and I will see you in the next video Bye.